Welcome back treasures. Today I'm making a scroll out of the paper towel rolls and I'm going to use the bottom out of these little um, little mini solo kind of rinse cups. I actually had the bottoms of these from the torch video, the little sconces. So I'm using those, but I only had three. So I need one more to make both sides of my scroll. So I cut one here. Fun fact, totally ended up breaking it and had to cut another one. But the idea is to cut the bottom off and to make a hole in the center so this dowel rod that I got from the Dollar Tree will fit through. And I then am going to put it in the end of the paper towel tube here and I'm going to glue it in once I can get it kind of in place correctly. And I did it with the dowel rod in because I'm using the dowel rod to actually kind of hold it a little while I get it glued in some. So I'm just using hot glue, but you could definitely use whatever kind of glue that you wanted that would stick for you. So there's a lot of gluing and holding right there uh, just to get that done. And then after I get this side glued, I'll go ahead and glue the other side in as well. But I do want to let this side dry so it's easier to move that dowel rod uh, and it doesn't bust my glue seal. I have this craft paper, it's kind of a craft butcher paper, I guess, and I'm going to just take some pieces and cut a little slit and kind of a U shape after folding them a couple times so that I can get a little circle in the middle and it'll fit right over the dowel rod. And I want to do that one for each side so that I can cover up the little plastic cup bottom we just glued into the paper towel tube and this is the same paper that I'm going to cover the tube in so it it's gonna have matching kind of ends to what that scroll paper looks like then I use Mod Podge to adhere this paper to the end of this tube and I want to make sure not to get it on the dowel rod or get it too close to the opening because I want the rod to be able to move after it's dry. Then I'm going to cut some slits all the way around so that I can mod podge this down to the tube and it will lay nicely on that edge of the tube. So I'm kind of alternating around in alternating directions that I lay. And I did do this to both sides. Now I'm going to take this piece of, it's a piece of broken jewelry, and I had a couple of them, and then I have this end of a, it's a pool from wooden curtains, and then I have just a wooden bead, and I 
used a string so that I can kind of pull the chain of this broken jewelry through the hole. And I'm going to fill the hole up with glue and then I will pull everything through and uh, just let it set. It's E6000, it takes a really long time to dry, uh, so I did let everything dry. This is what that turned out like. All right, here's our tube, and for one side, I'm gonna put this skull on, but I need to cut a hole in it, so I just used my box knife to cut kind of a star hole. And then I'm gonna take a, another dowel rod to punch it in there so that it kind of makes that hole for me. And again, I'm gonna use E6000 and I'm gonna put it on the end of this dowel rod. And then I'm gonna also put some inside the hole of this skull. And then I'm gonna put the two things together. And I want to make sure and be careful not to get glue onto the paper towel rod. So I'm going to leave a gap and let it set and dry. Now that it's all dry, I'm going to come back and I'm going to glue the other side on, which is going to be the little bead um, pull thing. <laughs> that I made. So I use a more E6000 and I am going to just put it right up there and I hold it for a little while um, just to get it at least a little bit sticky on itself and then I found something that was the exact right size so that it could sit on top of it while it sat to dry for a really long. Now it's time to measure this paper. Here is that same craft paper. And I'm going to lay it out and clip it to my board here because it is just a little bit wider than this paper towel tube. So I need to cut off this excess so that it doesn't overlap on the tube. Once I get that cut, now I have this nice little printout of a old Latin dragon invocation ritual. And uh, it was a little too big, a little too wide to fit on the paper now, so I'm going to cut it out. And I decided that let's cut it out fancy. Why not? Um, so I decided to cut around the whole entire thing. And now I am going to use some Mod Podge and just Mod Podge the crazy back of this thing like nuts, just all the Mod Podge on it. And then once I get it nice and covered, I'm going to line it up and lay it in the middle of my little craft paper here. And whoops, that's okay. I'm gonna come back do some little touch-ups. Then I want to make sure that it gets nice and smoothed out. So I'm going to roll it. And the edges were still just a little bit too long, so I cut those off as well. 
I let that fully dry and then I'm going to come back and put it on these paper towel tubes. So I'm using Mod Podge for that as well. And I want to make sure that I get a nice um, even coverage from top to bottom and I get it lined up before I start. And then I want to make sure that I only Mod Podge and roll it um, to a certain point. Uh, I don't want to roll it to where it ends up getting stuck over my printout uh, that I glued on earlier. So I just kind of do it in sections until it gets to the point that I want it to be. I wanted it to kind of just lay flat when it was rolled open, and so I put it up to the edge, but not quite touching the edge. And then it's just repeat on the other side with the other roll. And I'm really loving how this is coming together. It definitely has kind of an old medieval feel kind of to it. It definitely belongs at this dungeon party. If you're not yet a subscriber, be a treasure and hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any of my crafting adventures. And you can check out the playlist at the end of this video or in the link below to check out all the rest of the dungeon craft adventures. I just used a strip of old leather to tie it together and the birthday boy loved it and that's all that matters. Thanks for watching.